how do you handle different social media trends? Like this past winter, we saw the mob wife trend explode right. and everybody's walking around in big fur coats. And, you know, I think that there is a part of the population that wants to fit in and wants to participate in these trends. Right. So what is your right. advice when it comes to these social media trends and sticking to your morals? I think, I mean, as we've seen, they come and go. So right. you don't need to fall victim to every single trend you see. The mob wife trend, that was in and out in like a month. So it, you just, you don't like, don't go buy a poor animal that's been slaughtered for fur when you're going to be over it in five minutes because right. unfortunately that animal is never going to get their life back from you just deciding that you wanted to partake in a trend. Like it sucks. And if you want to partake in a trend like that, and go the cruelty free way. There's so many beautiful like faux fur coats that I that I have, and I absolutely love them. I actually have a huge red Philip Klein one, and it literally says, "I'd rather be naked than wear fur." Like in huge letters on the back, and Amazing. I always wear that out. Like in New York when it's cold, I wear that, and people are like, "I get stopped everywhere." Like I love your I love your coat, and I'm I like, need that coat. Me too. It's really cute. Like it was an investment, but it's very it's it's really I love it because it's it's a it's a message. Like I'm. Per- promoting it without even saying anything you know right. what I mean it's good that it has the message on the back because that would be my yeah. one concern with wearing yes. like a big oh, faux yes. fur coat is people might think yeah. it's real right yeah. same with the pleather other, yeah yes. that pleather's tricky too pleather's tricky I think people are more like understanding that pleather is a thing yeah. more thing. so do you yeah. have any like good like uh vegan leather jacket brands um I think I have my staple one that I have right now I believe is from Pistola which is a great brand. I'm not sure if they're fully vegan, but I know that this, that this jacket is. is. Yes. And like I said before, Alice and Olivia honestly is one of my go-tos because they are, I think she's honestly transitioning like completely away from leather. Everything that I look on on her website now that looks like leather is vegan. Amazing. Mm. So she's one of my favorite brands for that. Um, I mean, and Free People usually has a good selection of like, like faux leather jackets as well. So mm. anywhere they... You're, you just have to you just have to be diligent and look. When it comes to the cost of things, I mean, it, some people will say shop high end because it'll last longer. You don't have to buy as much. Right. Other right. people will then say, oh, I can't afford that because it's vegan. They assume that all vegan products are <laughs> very expensive, which is absurd to me. Right. But w- what would you say to that to somebody that thinks that? I mean, if you're going out and buying something for the same price that's leather, what it, I don't really understand when people say that because I'm like, you don't, have, you have no questions about it when you're going out and buying it when it's leather. Right. So why do you care if it's the same price if it's be? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just so that true. Just doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, like vegan food too. Like it's a big thing. Like oh, like I went to this vegan restaurant and it was expensive. And I'm like, but you go to another restaurant and get food and it's the same price or more. A thousand and percent. Like, why do you care? Like, I just went to a restaurant with my boyfriend. He's he's plant based uh, okay. as as much as possible, and we went to. A, right. Don't look at me like that. We went to a restaurant, <laughs> and we and You're we like, he only chose the vegan <laughs> options. Right. But the thing is, it was beyond expensive. I looked at him. I was like, "How yeah. do you deal with friends and family that are not yet vegan?" That's so tough. That's a big. That's I try and educate as much as possible. I've actually now gotten my sister to go fully vegan, Yay. which I'm too proud of myself for that. She finally was like, all right, stop sending me the slaughter videos. I'll do it. And I was like, I, was like, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it worked. It finally worked. So thank you, Peter, for those beautiful videos that, you know, they are disturbing, disturbing, powerful. But really, you know, powerful. Exactly. So she's fully vegan. My mom and dad, I'm trying to get them there. They're just about there. They've completely given up red meat, which is a step in the right direction. Um, so it's it's tough just because, you know, they have such a different mindset than we do on veganism as a whole just because they grew up and that was it. like you're getting meat and potatoes for dinner. That's mm-hmm. what their parents ate and that's what they ate and that's what they know. Right. But I think from I'm doing it – you know, I'm educating and I think that they're understanding and that's all I can ask for, right? Like, you know, obviously I want my whole family to be vegan, right? but at the moment, just them understanding me and accepting me for what I am passionate about is, is a big step in the right direction. Do you find it difficult to find vegan options when it comes to the fashion industry? I know we talked about shoes, but do you think right. like now in 2024, do you think it's difficult to make those choices? I don't think so at all. 
I don't think it is at all. There is so many cute, like, I mean, and people think that you have to specifically look for vegan, but it's like, just go buy a cotton shirt, you know, yeah. like, it's been around for a million years. <laughs> like, yeah, totally. You don't have to specifically go out and wear a pair of jeans, you know, like, right. it's pretty actually easy when you think about it.